Okay, let's pick back up where we left off. We're ready to import our footage into the Avid for the first time. Now there are two different ways that we can bring footage into the Avid. We can actually import footage and put it into the Avid Media Files library, or we can do AMA linking. There are pros and cons to both of these solutions. Right now I'm just going to show you how to get your footage into the Avid, and we'll worry about the pros and cons later. So you can see that I have my video clips bin selected. This is where I want to import my video clips. So I can go to File, and notice I can choose Import or AMA Link. So for those of us that are used to the Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere workflow, AMA linking will probably work better for us. If I click on AMA link, I can go to my hard drive where my files are located, and I'm gonna to go to my uh, Canon H.264 source material, and you can see here's my QuickTime, and I can open this file, and then it will show up here inside of my bin window. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little tiny icon that's next to the film clip, and that indicates that this is AMA linking. Now, when I double click on the source media, it loads inside of the source monitor, just like our footage would that we import into the Avid. Okay, so there's a clip that we've just imported using AMA link. Now I'm actually gonna put a clip inside of the Avid library. If I go to import, and I'm gonna to go to my external hard drive, where I have my Avid source material. I'm gonna go back to this Canon H.264 folder. And here's a piece of footage that I shot on my Canon DSLR camera at an airplane window. And I wanna go ahead and bring this into Avid and place it inside of the Avid Media Files library. Now, before I go ahead and click open and bring it in, we wanna ask ourselves what resolution we wanna use. Now, there is another tutorial up on our page that I created talking about how to convert H.264 to ProRes. But for right now, I'm just going to select the Apple HQ ProRes. You could use one of the Avid DNX uh, video codecs, which are also very good. But we're working on an Apple platform, and for right now, I just want to stay in Apple ProRes HQ. So I'm going to select that. Notice right here is where I can tell it to import and put our media into the Avid Media Files library. We can have an Avid Media Files folder on all of our external hard drives. If you take a look here inside of the Finder, you can see on this two terabyte external drive, here is an Avid Media Files folder. And inside of here is my footage. And I'll show you how we can use the media tool later to look inside the folder. Now, if we go to my other external hard drive, you'll notice that we also have an Avid Media Files folder here with a lot more content. Let's go back to the import window, and you can see right here when we bring in picture and sound, it wants to know what drive we're gonna put this on. For right now, I'm gonna go with this two terabyte drive. Once again, I'm bringing in ProRes HQ, and I'm gonna click open. So depending on the speed of your computer and your hard drives, this could take several minutes. So once this is done importing, I'm gonna come back to you.